All right, guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over another one of Force Tasks. For this, we're going to be having a look at the Bunker Part 2. Now, for this, we have to locate a couple of different areas underneath the Reserve Underground. White Bishop, Black Bishop, Black Pawn, White Pawn, and King. We also have to survive the area. You don't have to do them all in the same raid. You can do one, an extract, another, an extract, and such and such. Now, I am also going to go into a little bit more detail of the underground system in this one. But if you want to skip ahead, I'll put a timestamp up above so you can sh skip straight to the part that's just going to show you the locations that you need to head to just to complete the task. But if you're a little bit unfamiliar with the underground system, stick about. And I'm going to go into a little bit more detail and hopefully by the end of the video you'll be a little bit more comfortable navigating yourself around the underground. Fingers crossed anyway, but well, let's get into it. Alright, so here we are, we're on reserve, we're in the centre courtyard area, obviously where we find the helicopter. And I just want to talk about the five buildings that we can use to access the underground and uh, their direction in reference to each other just to help us once we do get underground. So if we press U and pull out its compass, obviously the red arrow is the indicator of north. So as we can see, Black Bishop over there is the north facing building. To the east, we've got Black Pawn. To the south, White Pawn. To the west, we've got King. And then over there to the northwest, we've got White Bishop. So let's start with White Pawn, the southernmost building. Now we've got two entrances for White Pawn. One at either side. This is obviously the symbol for White Pawn. So when we're underground, if you see this symbol, you know you're going to be heading in the direction of this building. Now if we head down these stairs, take a right. This will lead us to the underground system. Now we've got a little hallway here. And this is the same as Black Pawn. We have a little hallway. Down there to the left, we can access the underground system. And down there to the right, we can also access the underground system. So we're back up above ground, we've now got Black Pawn, so same symbol but obviously black this time, so if we see that in the underground you know you're going to be heading in this direction. Same again, we've got two entrances, one to the left, one to the right, identical to White Pawn. So if we go down, take a right again, we've got this door, obviously marked room there so this is a high traffic area. We go further down, obviously we've got a hallway, same as White Pawn. But what's slightly different is this ramp leads straight down and to access the other entrance which is a, a good one to know we've got some stairs here and that'll take us to white bishop as well so let's go back up okay so this time we're going to go to the west and we're going to check out king or the welcome to hell building now this only has one entrance to the underground now you can get to, obviously to this building there's an entrance around back and at the other side but for this purpose we'll head in the front take a left open this metal grate and these stairs here is the entrance to the underground we head down and there we go it's a pretty simple one and there we go we're now in the underground and as for the symbol for king that's a symbol that we want to be looking out for so if you see the symbol you know you're heading towards king Okay, so now we're moving towards the front of the helicopter. We're going to head to the northwest and we're going to check out White Bishop first. Or the med building. Now, this is a great building to find meds in. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you the entrance to the underground. So, same again, this only has one entrance. We need to head down these stairs. Take a left when we get into here and then take a right. Now we've got this ramp. Now, the one thing I'd say about this way to access the underground. It's great to know, but because you have to pass this water, and this is the only water that's found on reserve, if you enter the water, which you have to, everyone's gonna know where you are because of the sound. Now what I would advise is do a sprint jump, just so you minimize the amount of time that you are in the water, because it slows you down as well. But just bear that one in mind. It's good to know in case you're in a pickle and you need to extract, but yeah. White Bishop. Alright, so we're back at the helicopter once again. Now we're going to talk about Black Bishop or the drop down building. Obviously, high traffic area because everyone wants to get the loot that's in there. 
The two entrances to this building are both at the rate of the building, so let's start heading that way. We've got the cafeteria for one of them. And then at the opposite end, there's like a, a stable area or a garage area, whatever you want to call it. So if we enter through the cafeteria here, all the way around to the left, and then take a right, we've got these stairs. And this will take us down to this area. Now the second entrance is all the way over there. So I'll show you that. All right, so we're at the opposite side of the building now from the helicopter. Come around this way. We've got this entrance here. And that's where we just stood looking a second ago. So I do also want to talk a little bit about this underground area. So fuel spawn. So it's a good area for fuel. We've got a few of these crates if you're looking for any food. A good area to know and if we head in here we've got a little weapons area some attachments and we've got this sort of office area as well now it's good to know in case you need to hide pull back heal but this area i'm not too confident that there's any decent loot in here if you know that there's any decent loot spawns and sound off in the comment area below because i'd like to know them as well but this is a good area to know okay so this is how we are down head down to the bunker area let's check it out so just for reference take a right here that's the water that leads up to the med building obviously little symbols black pawn so if we head through there this is going to take us to the black pawn hallway underneath that I showed you before And this ramp will take us to the center area which is underneath the bunker system so here we are so this is the center area this is where most fights are going to take place if you do uh, run into people down here now this is where I find it useful to know your bearings with the compass because if you get lost and you head into this this area you know that if you head in this direction you're going to get to black bishop and in this direction, you're going to get to Black Pawn, the South White Pawn, and obviously, you've got the stairs that lead up to King to the west there. Alright, so now that we're down in the underground area, might as well talk a little bit about some of the decent loot spawns. So, if we head to the east towards White Pawn, we've got this little hallway. Now this leads down to where the power switch is to turn on D2. So this is a little area where you turn it on, that's the power switch there. Check all these consoles. Tech spawn you see, cough DM there. 87k straight to therapist. I'm gonna turn on the power. If you open up this door, we've got these center office areas. Now there's only really this way out, and then two ways at the other end, which I'll show you as well. But check this desk, we've got Intel on this desk get intel on this desk as well I'm not sure whether you can get it on the others but it's worth checking you get intel on this desk you can also get intel inside that little uh, filing thing there if we take a right this is one way out but obviously this is where well, you've got to go across water so obviously I don't like using that unless I have to intel spawns on this desk also spawns on this desk and then obviously the second way out is towards King, through here. We've also got some intel that spawns underneath there as well. So if you ever come down here and you're running through, you might as well check that. Okay, so with all that out of the way, you should know the directions of the buildings now, but let's talk about where you need to head to get the quest complete. So we're going to start off with King, head up the stairs here. Pretty simple, you just have to head down there. And around about here, you should get the ping to say you've located ping. Let's head back down. We'll take a left. We're gonna head to White Bishop, the med building. Jump across the water. And once you come past these bunker doors, you should get the ping. If you don't, just head slightly up the ramp. And before you even get halfway up, you'll have the ping to say you've completed White Bishop. Come back, take a left. Head up the ramp. 
Apply like bishop, take a left here. And you should get the ping somewhere between this door and the big bunker door here as well. So that's three down. We're going to keep heading around. Pretty much one big square. If you think of it that way, you can't get lost. Black pawn, take a left here. Now you can either hit this door here. Or you can also hit this door here as well. Either one of these will check Black Bishop off for you. And then the last one. Now we always advise doing this one last. Just because you can head this way for when you uh, go to extract. If you turn the power on first, you can come this way. Hit white pawn last and it saves you having to come back on yourself. Now same again. You can either go left and up there and you'll get a ping. Or if you come right and head up here, you'll also get a ping. And then we can come down here and extract towards D2. Alright, so with that out of the way, I just want to say there is no substitute to actually getting down here and experiencing it for yourself. It's one thing watching it on a YouTube video, but getting down here and actually understanding your bearings, playing it yourself, it's just a different way of learning. Personally, I find watching it on YouTube one way, but getting getting hands on, getting dirty with it is, uh, is the best way to learn any new area. So jump into an offline raid, head down here, familiarise yourself with the area because it'll make it far easier. Alright, so there we are guys. I know it's been a little bit more of a longer one this time, but hopefully you've found it useful and informative. If you have, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel because that'll help me out a massive amount. I also want to shout out to Drone1933 on Discord for allowing me to use his map, which is what I've been using for the minimap top left. That's been a massive help. I also go live on Twitch most weekends, so come check me out over on there. Links will be in the description below. But until next time, ciao for now.